Welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'll be doing a soft Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm not an expert at makeup, but this is how I would personally do a Valentine's Day look. Okay, now back to the video. I already have my skincare on, but I'm gonna put eye cream on because I did not do that. I'm like, I'm running out of eye cream. Just a little bit under the eyes. In the winter time, I get really dry under eyes. And when I put um, concealer or foundation on, it creases a lot. So eye cream or anything hydrating under the eyes is very important. I don't know what's happening to my lips. I'm getting like a little allergic reaction to something. There's like a little small red bump for me. Anyways, the makeup tutorial must go on. First off, sunscreen. I'm using the La Roche, the La Roche Tinted Mineral Sunscreen in 50 SPF in the shade Light. I'm gonna use the Mary Phillips technique. I just found out about this and it's a game changer. So I'm gonna go in with a contour stick. Just a little bit. I'm not the ex an ex I'm not an expert on co contouring. So please don't come at me if I am doing this wrong. Now I'm going in with the Dior Backstage Concealer in the shade 1N. I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Matte Setting Spray. Let that sit for just a few seconds. Going in with the Sephora concealer brush in 71. My makeup usually stays kind of the same and then I'll do like an occasional eyeshadow or shimmer when there's an event or more bold eyeliner. I should have used a bigger brush, but it's okay. I'm going to go in with the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. I recently just got this, so I'm still kind of learning how to use it for my kind of brow shape. I feel like my brows at the very end here are quite stubborn and don't really stay up, but I do like the laminated look. So you're supposed to use the flat side to brush it out, the longer spiky side to set all the product in, and then the shorter spiky side to form your shape. So I have heard. Oh gosh. I'm gonna fill in the little empty spots later. Now for the other brow. My brows are very different. <laughs> so this brow is harder to shape. I feel like it has a more awkward shape to it. I feel like my right side is more spiky than the other side. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Fill and Fluff Eyebrow Pencil in black.
I'm being picky with my brows. Brows are done. My brows are a little messy. I'm gonna have to redo this brow. Okay, brows are done. I missed foundation. <laughs> I skipped straight to the brows, but I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match foundation in shade two to three. Okay, I'm gonna get a powder brush and just dab it in. And then lightly put it on my face. Okay, the eyeshadow. I think I'm going to go in with the pink first here. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna use the shimmery pink. I'm gonna use my ring finger to put this shade in the inner corners of my eye. And then I'm just gonna fluff it up. I go in with the Physicians Formula Eyeliner. use an angled brush and use this black color all right next I'm going to curl my eyelashes with the Shiseido eyelash curler The Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I'm like butchering these titles. My favorite part, blush. Blush, rare beauty blush. Oh no! We got some blush on my pants. <laughs> I'm going to do the three dot system. Use my ring finger to button it out. And then I'm actually going to contour my nose a little bit, the dark brown shade over here. That looks very uneven. Then I'm just gonna blend it out with my ring finger. I'm gonna use this sparkly shade just to highlight my nose. Final touches for the lips. Using the lip liner from Makeup Forever in the shade 14C. Use this as a lipstick as well. Over top, I'm going to use the YSL lipstick. It has a cute little heart in the middle. The last makeup product I'm going to use is the um, Dior Lip Glow Oil in shade Cherry. This is the final look. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye guys.
I'm just a kid.